RCS has made other messaging apps obsolete, but has transformed itself into a massive thing. In this video, we'll explore its features and usage. So, let's begin. Enabling it is pretty easy because on most devices, it comes enabled by default. It depends on your SIM carrier, but uh, most support RCS these days. To check if it's on your device, tap here and then Settings. General and then RCS Chats. If it says connected, that means you're good to go. If it shows verified, then you will need to verify your number. Some SIM companies don't support it and in that case, you will see a different message. So what's the difference between SMS and RCS? SMS is your general messaging. RCS lets us message over the internet so it doesn't cost against our SMS quota. Also it needs internet. It is similar to WhatsApp and other chatting apps but uh, with the SMS features. RCS has tried to offer a different experience from WhatsApp and others so the people have a choice of using it along with them, not instead or against them. Now to features. It has many features for a common user. I think there is a 100 MB or close to that number limit. The first is sending a message over the internet. It won't consume your SMS usage if you have any and the messages are instant. RCS also supports sending HD images and videos. Another feature is attaching large documents like PDFs and unsupported files. The messages and everything else on RCS are end-to-end -end encrypted and Google has given us a way to check if the encryption is working. RCS also offers better group chats. Unlike SMS where each person gets an individual message, RCS creates groups like in WhatsApp and Telegram where everyone can get group messages and reply in the group. So when you send a message to a new person, you will see RCS or text message here. This tells us if the other person has RCS enabled. RCS messages are also slightly darker in color, so they are easy to spot. When a message is sent, you'll see this small check mark. When they read the message, you will see a two check mark icon. If the other person doesn't have RCS anymore or they are offline, you will see it here and then can wait for them to be online or send the message as an SMS. When they start typing, you'll see it here. RCS will also inform them when you see the message and when you type. In groups, one can simply create a group and add everyone who has RCS. The thing about RCS is that read receipts are enabled automatically and people don't even know that they are using RCS. A few people have asked me how I knew that uh, they had seen my message. I always tell them that uh, they have RCS activated and uh, read receipts are enabled. It would be nice for the team to remind users to adjust their RCS settings if they want and make settings easier to access. In the settings we get a few options. Obviously we can disable read receipts and indicators. I always have this enabled which automatically sends the message as SMS if the other person can't receive my RCS message. We can limit mobile data usage and downloads while roaming. You can also deactivate RCS anytime from the top. There is more to RCS such as support for iPhones. But that is only in the US at this stage. The rest of the world has yet to get it. But I believe once it comes, more and more will opt in to enjoy the better messaging experience. Anyway, this was the video on RCS. Thanks for watching. Take care.